All right, our latest video. <clears throat> Today is the 7th of May, 2011. And while I'm posting to the blog on nutrients, uh, we have come upon a nutrient change for our deep water culture with the Simpson lettuce, the newest one if you've been following along. And I thought what better uh, what what better time to pop a video in on some basics about nutrient changes for this system. So I'm gonna, right now I'm kind of zeroed in on pH up and down, obviously to adjust the pH, and then I've already got a uh, container here full of about 3.5 ounces of nutrients. That is the amount that will be uh, what's classified as a full nutrient solution for the seven gallon deep water system that we have. And panning around to that DWC, of course next to it you'll see the mescaline mix, which is at about 60 to 70 days on the mark, I'll have to look at the log, but that is running near its end. That thing is uh, that is produced fabulously, and the lettuce has been incredible. This is the uh, DWC that I'll be talking about for this nutrient change. And what I've done is took the top off with the plants. Actually, a uh, little makeshift thing here. I put them in a uh, lid of a garbage can. You can see the the plants with their big root balls. I just dropped it right down inside as a temporary place. But I took this bin, seven gallon bin at the red line. Uh, all I did was pull the air hose out, took it, washed it out, cleaned it real good, and right now it's got about two and a half gallons of water in it just letting the air stone go. There's no nutrients yet. Now for our nutrients, uh, this product calls for a rate of 15 mils per gallon, so when you calculate that out, it ends up at about 3.5 ounces. Very simple calculation. I pour it into this container, which has got a measuring cup on it, and from there, really simply, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do the whole process since I don't have enough hands, but I basically take this uh, measuring cup full of the, the amount of solution, I'll pour it into a jug of water about this big, mix it up really, really well, so I've got a really concentrated uh, concentrated batch of water. And then simply pour that into this DWC and it will already be pretty much mixed and continue to add my water up until about the seven gallon line. Put my plants back in it, let it run, and voila, we have a full nutrient change. This DWC, this deep water culture for this actual batch of Simpson, and you can see this is coming along very, very well. It's already been harvested twice. Uh, it's been on half nutrients since day one, but today's the day we take it up to full nutrients. It is on lettuce day, lettuce day number 40, and it's been 35 days in the system. So we started harvesting this uh, at least 10 days ago, which is a good 10 to 15 days ahead of the package schedule or what you would achieve outside. And as you can see, this is, uh, this is very thick, very crisp. Uh, very very tasty and again we've already harvested it a few times uh, all the way back to all the way back to the net pots if you can see under there so this thing is just going like gangbusters full nutrients is really going to push it out and that'll run for probably hopefully to get 30 40 more days out of it which is well beyond the uh, normal soil and again on this mescaline mix this one's approaching the end but this has been this has been very tasty and I'm going to start germinating these seeds quickly. They're also going in the ground outside, so we've got a year-round supply, and we'll let uh, we'll let Mother Nature do the rest on the uh, providing the sunlight. Uh, back to the nutrient piece. Once I fill the reservoir with the new nutrient solution, fill it up to the desired level. We'll do a simple pH test, and I do intend on. Uh, doing some blog pieces about pH. pH is another uh, real simple process and basically using a product such as this uh, General Hydroponics pH test kit take a small water sample, put a few drops in, compare the color we want to get the color to the right pH level based on the chart and from there we just start adding tiny amounts back and forth of pH up or pH down depending on where we want our nutrient solution to go. Now it's important to do the pH test after we've added nutrient solution to the water. We don't want to test it prior to because the, the nutrient solution is going to affect it a little bit. 
uh, once it's adjusted the pH level, leave it alone. I'll check it about every two to three days, try to make sure it's optimum, and again, uh, I'll post some different pieces to the blog on the effects of pH and why it's so important to keep it uh, keep it there. But very, very simple process between checking the pH, the nutrient solution. I mean, this requires absolutely minimal work, um, you know, draining the water, cleaning the tank, refilling it, re-adding the nutrients, popping the uh, lid back on with the plants, and away we go for another for another month. Okay, I'm going to wrap up this video and take a look at the blog. We'll put, I'll be posting a few more pieces on on the effects of nutrients and uh, enhancements and different add-ons. So till then, take care.